The man you don't pay time, you want to go. This is what? Uh, 20, 20, 27. It's 20 what? 29. 29, 30. 31, you are fine. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. You are totally fine after eating time. Now you forgot that you ate time. Then on around 25, you receive a call from home. We have a serious crisis here. What's happening? You must just be ready to come for funeral because the situation with your mama is now worse. She's about to die. Please do a video call. They do a video call for you. You can really see that your mom is about to die. Even the way that she will be saying, My mother and daughter, it's better for me to rest. I've suffered enough. This thing is now too much on me. Then, definitely, after such a situation, you can look for pastors, and pastors will fail. And you will be needing a, a hospital. You go to the hospital, they will say, they will say, uh, the only 3,200 is needed. You and your sisters, because you want your mama to live, you will gather the money very quick and send your mama to the hospital. The moment you deposit your money to the, the hospital account, the moment you pay, mom will begin to be okay slowly. Then at the end of the day, they will give you a call to mama is now better. Tomorrow, mama is okay. You come and give a testimony. I want to tell you the word of apostle. My mom was, you know, my mom was about to die. And, and you know what? But I told the apostle to please pray for me. Apostle prayed for, for, for her and they will send money. They, you know what? Just stepping into the hospital, she was fine. Never. Now, because you were put on a situation whereby you, 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 you can never evaluate money. You think money doesn't matter. My mother must be better live. Even if they are going to send 20,000 for the life of my mother, I will pay it. Everything that you have, that you surrender and 
say, God, this one, I don't know what you must do with it. I am surrendering each. Right? 10%. So the duty of tithing, it has plenty of duties. It opens the doors of heaven that you can receive more blessings. It can protect the blessings that you have. So tithing 10% protects the 90% that you are left with. Okay. If you eat 100, trust me, that 100, you eat it, then it will just vanish. But the 10% protects the remaining 90. So God is only moved to protect your 90 when you tithe. Right? Now, then we go to offering. According to Malachi chapter 3, verse 8, offerings and tithings, they move together. They belong to God. Offering, most of you have a system. I see that most of you have a system of thinking that it is okay to go to the house of the Lord without anything to offer. It's very dangerous. In, in, where, where we are coming from, if you look at the, the, the nation of Israel, there was a moment when Saul lost the donkeys. Right? The father lost the donkeys and they were sent to look for the donkeys. There was a moment when they told him, no, we must go and see the men of God. They discussed that we have nothing to bring to the men of God. It was a system that they knew the offerings and titles. So it's a system that helps the, 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 the religious system to, 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 to exist. That when a person is helped, even before you get helped, you go and offer something. That is why people from some Romans are making it more than you. Those, those people they sacrifice. You go and change it. You must save your one rug and say, This one, I don't have money, but one rug for. The problem comes when we teach you to give one rug. You, you, you take it as a, uh, a dog child. One rug you give when it's the only money that you have. Offering it means good. They're saying, Father, this is what I have to offer to you today. I don't feel good if I don't offer something to the Lord. That is why most of the things around me are very stable. You can be stable if you learn this. When you go to the house of the Lord, even five rounds, if that's what you have, save it and say, this one I am going to offer unto the Lord. Mind you, God can see with you. Yes, she is giving five rounds, not because she doesn't want to give, but that's all she has. Remember, there was a lady who gave a coin, and God said, and Jesus said, this lady is blessed. But no, I said the voice over it. I have certain responsibilities, like I have pastors all over, some who are not yet financially stable. The partnership is one of the um, financing ways that helps me to cater for them. May the Lord bless every partner who is partnering with me in that in the name of Jesus. Amen. Is there anything that I left? Hmm? Sacrifice. Thank you. Sacrifice man. Sacrifice, you don't give what you have. Hmm? Sacrifice, you don't give what? There is a sacrifice that I did. But I don't want you to, to know about it. But that sacrifice, it covered me so much. It changed everything around me. I gave what I did not have. And I looked at my father. I am very broke and sick. There is no more money, even the coin. I remember after making that sacrifice for the first time in my life, I was searching under the wardrobe, under everywhere, to look for a coin so that I can add up money to myself. But that sacrifice changed everything. Things that I used to suffer before it, they never came to my life. So sacrifice is like Jesus, who is the only Son of God. Then God wants to rescue millions, billions, if not trillions of human beings, of souls. But he has one lovely son who is very obedient. That lovely son you take him to the cross. You sacrifice him so that you can gain billions, if not trillions. Amen. He has one. And he has been to one. So when God was telling Abraham to go and sacrifice Isaac, he 
must show him what he can be able to do for him to gain more. So when you are doing a sacrifice, some other people they are saying, okay, we, people are, are pledging for, for bigger things in the church, and I, I am very poor, I know. But I also want to be part of them. You go and sell your TV before you do. It's very possible. <laughs> These people like their TV. Oh, no. Let me tell you something. In the book of Acts, I told you what is the book of Acts. Is it chapter 5, right? Chapter 5. When people used to sell their stairs and houses and bring the whole money to the apostles, and the apostles would distribute it and do whatever that was necessary. And in our church, there is nobody. I want to see one time, I want to see a person who can say, Apostle, I have a TV, who can buy it? We raise it here. Said, okay, this TV is worth 1,200, you want, just want 600. This is text. Put the money on the church project and you shall see what God does. You don't give what you have on sacrifice. On sacrifice, I've seen people, like people who were told to give when they don't have and they want to give. No, 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 it's not shoes. I told my friend, I went to Zimbabwe, so there is a friend of mine. So this friend of mine, what he does, whenever I go to Zimbabwe, he gives me a list of things that he wants. He sent me pictures with him. You see the, like you in this one. If I'm going to send a picture wearing this one, you should ask for it. And the, the, I saw you wearing a blue trousers, I want it. And uh, at night, that is the mouth of Mira Mashashikwe. He asks you, and he, he tells you, and you do, do. So in South Africa, when, when he asks you in South Africa, do you find something like this? No, that he wants it. So I've been giving him, giving him until last year. Uh, visit that I made to Zimbabwe. I said, Zimbabwe, please sit down. I'm not saying this because I don't want to give you, but you're making a mistake. So to tell you this, I am anointed more than you, which is evident. Because you were in ministry for 12 years whilst I was king. But after those 12 years, I, I'm two years only in the ministry and you are asking me for everything. Can you buy me a mic? Can you buy my two? That's your biggest mistake. If I am anointed more than you, one day buy me a suit. Buy me a suit. I said, I've given you how many suits? He counted six. six. He said, yeah, I've given you. And the time that I was giving you, I was partaking of every little blessing that you have. And you, if you saw that I am blessed more than you, maybe I am better than you in any way. You would have partaked it, but you can't. You are very selfish. First, I told you, I said, you must sacrifice. If it, if it is that you are going to give me your, your shoe, which is like this, I would rather take it and wear it in the church service. Because I, I'm, I'm not asking a suit because I want a suit from you, because I have a wardrobe which is full with extras. But the problem is, you are keeping on asking. And I'm not telling you the truth. The truth is, you believe in receiving more than giving. Of which the Bible says, blessed is the head that gives. And you believe in more than receiving. So you can't partake of the grace that is upon my life. I have the grace of speed, I have the grace of grace of fruitfulness, I have plenty of grace that I'm imparting on other people who work for me. There are people, when I go to Zimbabwe, there are people who lie out at my place to see me, they bring gifts and so forth. Most of the gifts that I don't even use, I bless. When I bless the justified apostle, the grace that is upon my life, upon your life, is just great. And my friend is busy with Kumura. Yes. When you're wearing a shoe like this, you are eating. This one you are not going with it. And you will be stepping on my, you know, the other so. I'll be like, we should balance you. So, I said to him, right now as you are speaking, you are saying, in your family they do rituals. Right? And they are overpowering you because of the rituals. I said, so on 12 years you are still being overpowered by rituals. So the people of God, they are strong. I said they are not strong. The problem is the themselves when they do their rituals every August, they they come to slaughter and sacrifice. Then they begin to shout the whole night. They begin to shout the whole night, but with the sacrifice of a cow, a goat, and a chicken, and the only thing that you have when you go to the prayer, <laughs> tongues only. So your prayers must also be made with a sacrifice. Then it fights a sacrifice again. It's a sacrifice. These people are better givers than you. What did you do for your God to show him that you are a sacrifice? Abraham had one child, and God said that one too. And Abraham was ready for it. But you, you are not ready to sacrifice anything. When you see me, you are thinking of raping me. 
never sacrificed in your life. My friend, I've given things that I can look at. But I myself, I have the hope to circumstances that I begin to think of. When I met this one, was I normal? But this is what is keeping me alive. Financially healthy. Some of you are not even financially healthy. School fees for kids is not paid for. Rent is not paid for. Right now, you and landlord, you are getting told you are running away from each other. Did you let these things and don't jump out of them? Be part of, be part of it. Be a sacrifice. Be a sitter. Be a tither. Be whatsoever. And see what is not going to change.
The mother knows. So, on the younger age, did you see this little boy that he gave a, in item? When I was sitting there, when he came here, I never knew what he was about to do. Then the voice of the Lord came to me, even before, I, I, I don't know, I, I saw her first saw this boy, today. Then I was given a prophecy before he even went to, I thought maybe he want to sing or do a memory verse, and exactly what I was told is what he did. So it is very important, the only age, the only time and the only period and the best period to discover your children is when they are young. And the biggest problem that we do, we want our children to go the way we went of which we are born for different purposes. You, you will be shocked with this kid. No one, no, no one are a lawyer. You find him as a lawyer in the future. You will be shocked. Because parents want to change people into what they want. Not, but why is parents they go and ask God, would, what am I carrying? And God will tell you, would, in the spirit I created two nations. And what I created in the spirit is what shall... Lift up your hands. 
Só um dos só é a vida. Esse serviço é para definir quem você vai ser.
shall go to your children. Your children shall go to school. Your children shall go to universities. Your children shall be lawyers. Your children shall be doctors. Your children shall be nurses. Your children shall be great lawyers. Great footballers. In the name of Jesus. Your child shall be a great prophet. Your child shall be a great prophetess. In the name of Jesus. Oh, I can see a great possession. If it's not going to be your child, it's going to be you. In the name of Jesus. I bless your family. Upon every name that you are holding, I impart a blessing. Upon every name you are holding, I impart a blessing. Upon every name that you are holding, I impart a blessing.
Let's see what it does. As we are speaking right now, it's a bad thing, it's a disadvantage. Let, I don't know which way. Let me tell you. Let's tell you. It's a disadvantage. Let me say it's a disadvantage. 